The restoration of full diplomatic ties between the U.S. and Cuba is being viewed as a step in the right direction by all sides. Fern Kerry sat down with the Cuban ambassador who welcomed the move while noting that there is still a lot of work left to be done before the bilateral relationship is completely normalized. The restoration of full diplomatic ties between the United States of America and Cuba on Monday and the reopening of embassies in both countries for the first time in 54 years is widely welcomed by Cuban nationals, according to Cuban Ambassador to the Bahamas, His Excellency Ernesto Guzman. He noted that Cuba is now working on normalizing its bilateral relationship with the United States. We are happy with this new momentum both uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Cuba and the Secretary of State of the U.S. yesterday that they made a, a joint uh, interview with the, with the media in Washington after their meeting and both of them they agreed to say that, that there was a frank conversation, there was a respective conversation so now uh, we will start to work in order to try to get normal relations in the future. At the same time, the Cuban ambassador cited a number of issues that have to be addressed moving forward, such as Guantanamo Bay and the decades-old trade embargo, which still remains in place. President Obama, as part of this process, he announced a group of measures last January to try to flexibilize the embargo between Cuba and uh, the embargo against Cuba. Uh, it is true that he cannot do by himself to leave the embargo, you know, he needs the, the support of the Congress of the U.S. But it is also true that he has executive power to take some kind of measures to try to flexibilize the, the embargo as much as possible. Many Bahamians applaud the restored relationship between the United States and Cuba. However, some residents expressed concern about its potential impact on our tourism industry. Because tourism is our number one industry. So now, as a Bahamian, we need to wake up and we need to know that we have to treat these tourists better and we have to give more service, we have to be more serious about our tourists that come to our shore because Cuba, there's a lot to see in Cuba. So now, we here in the Bahamas, we have competition. The only impact that will have on us is a good one. Um, we can start looking at things in the right light sometime. And I don't, I, anytime two countries can work together in peace and harmony, that is good. That is very good. That would do nothing to destroy or to, to, to take away from us in the Bahamas. Fern Carey, ZNS Network News.